Hey there, if you've come across this video and you don't know how, you have struck gold, my friend. Anyways, no, I'm just I'm just joking about that. Anyways, this is what we're doing in this tutorial. If you haven't seen part one, go back, check it out. But basically, we're taking a simple date picker, adding a button, and then displaying what the date is in the date picker as a simple label. So let's jump out and in back into the tutorial from exactly where we left off in part one. So don't uh, don't jump in here. Go back and check out the old one. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now is now that we have established the actions and the outlets of our date picker and man I almost lost my train of thought there of our date picker we're going to go and implement this within our implementation. So when we click the button it's going to take the date from their date picker and it's going to display it. That's basically what we're telling the program to do. Now, using the way that uh, we hooked up our outlets and our actions, it automatically puts our synth or, uh, synthesizing our outlets within there. It also goes down and it sets uh, the view did unloads for us as well, the date labels and the date uh, picker, and so that's a nice thing. And the last thing that it does is it establishes this action down here our IB action log button it already puts it in there I've not added that I haven't done anything with that that's just simply uh, the way with it we connected it it kind of simplifies it, it makes it a little bit uh, more user-friendly so this is what we're gonna start and this is all we're gonna do is go down here give ourselves a little bit more room alright so we've got to take the date that is on the the date picker and establish a variable for that so our NS date we're gonna set the date to a variable called uh, date uh, selected and then we're gonna set that equal to this is gonna be our uh, our date picker so whatever's in our our variable date picker and uh, follow it up with date alright now now we're gonna include that date that's in there into a NS or a string so in a string, and we're just going to call this uh, date stamp equals double brackets there. In a string alloc, close that off. In it with format the string that we'd like, and in this case, we're just going to simply write out. Um, and this is what's going to be displayed within our label. So we're going to write out uh, just like the example that we had date stamp is and then this is where we're going to insert the date from our date picker right in that variable placeholder and we're going to tell it to pull from the date selected variable up above here. Does that make sense so far? Alright, alright, good. So now that we've got that, uh, the last thing that we've got to do is we've got to tell our label what we want, what we want it to appear as. So the date label dot text equals our variable date stamp. Okay, so just a quick review here. Our we'll work it backwards. Our date stamp is going to be appearing in our label on screen. And so our date stamp coming from up here is the string that we already established. It's going to say date stamp is variable placeholder and it's going to look for the, the variable date selected to input into our string up here. So then the date selected goes, all right, what date am I? Well, the date that uh, is going to be put in there is going to be pulled from our date picker and inserted into our date label. If that isn't uh, makes sense, shoot me an email, shoot me something. I'll try to help you out with that. And that is all within the action of the button that is clicked. And so without further ado, we are going to jump in, run this, and make sure it actually works before I let you guys uh, try it on your own here. I know how daunting that can be. So we're building the product right now. And uh, let's blow it up for everyone to see. So we can change this date, 
October, you know, it feels like Wheel of Fortune or something. October, November 14, 2012. Log date, we get November 15, 2012. It even posts the date, the time and all that stuff in there. You know, great, whatever. You can do the same thing. You can repeat the process. It's going to hold firm that, uh, that string that we developed until another action is sent to the label. So we can change the date up here. Click log date. And obviously it changes to August 15th. Or why is that? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says the 14th. All right, so apparently it thinks we're in a different time zone. So you guys, uh, you guys can deal with that. You know, that's all specifics later stuff. Anyways, hopefully that helps as far as l connecting all that, using some of the date picker. You know, the opportunities are endless when using date pictures, buttons, labels you know whatever you guys are needing within your applications so end of the part two hopefully you guys enjoyed it you know subscribe to the channel let us know what you guys would like to see and hopefully we can, get, we can accommodate so peace out guys